Hi everybody, Bill McCabe uh, at the Iron Crane Dojo, and I'm doing a continuation of uh, uh, the bow form number one, which I presented in the previous video with the Tokomini uh, bow form, uh, essentially out of Ishiru, but uh, out of the island of Okinawa, and it's, it's used in the other styles too, that come out of Okinawa. Uh, it's a very traditional style. Uh, uh, it's discussed in the first video, so we won't revisit with that. I'm just going to talk about some of the points that I like to think about as I do it. Now, this is not the Bible on how you should approach it. It's just some of my thoughts. Okay? So, the form itself, when it starts, a lot of focus on center line. And what I do is uh, the very first portion of the form, when I bring the bow up, uh, I'm actually focusing uh, as though I'm projecting my energy through the center line of my opponent. And that's more of a psychological thing than anything, but when you align your thoughts a certain way, it works for you. The first move, which is part of the bow in the introduction, is an excellent angular clearing move, followed by a second clearing move or a strike. So you have to visualize this. Somebody's coming in at me. I'm clearing and double clearing and going to the ready position. Okay? Uh, Excuse me, Sensei, grab the, grab the gray bow over there, the uh, practice bow, the soft one, just so we, we can see that a little bit better. I'm here, he comes to my head, and I clear. And you see how I'm in a ready position, just out of that seat. So it's a very nice move. Okay, so, and just stand it to the side. So I'm here. The next move, everybody does this a little bit differently. Some people do a fade around the bow. Some people do a slant. Move type maneuver behind the bow. All those are okay. The essential element here is that you want the angle of the bow to match generally the angle of your right leg. Okay? And then all of your body is, is protected by the bow. So you're not like this where any part of your body is exposed. You move forward with the block. Now, within the context of Tokamini, there's five or six sequences that you'll see in the demonstration of the form, which has previously been done, which, which repeat throughout Tokamini. And one is the block strike. Block strike. Another sequence is what we call the Tokamini sequence within our group. The block, strike, and then one, two, three, four, thrust. Um, okay, block, strike, one, two, three, four, thrust. Block, block, strike, one, two, three, four, thrust, and block. Okay, you'll see that in just a second. The kata starts out, block, strike, proceeds with thrust, 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 and back. One thing you, gotta be, you need to be conscious of is this. There's a target area that's a small circle or a small square box about eight inches to each side. And you're trying to put most of your energy or power in that location. So as I strike, this appears to be a block and a strike. But if you look really closely, at it, it's a block, strike, strike. Or a block, block, strike, strike. A lot of different ways you can interpret that and apply it. But take a look where the focus of the energy is going. It's going right to that box. Thrust, thrust, thrust. And when I block, his power is coming from that box toward me, and I block around the box. Next move, attacker coming on the side. I go and strike opposite side. Now here's some of the things that we try to do with it. To get power, I wind into it, and I wind into it. So I have full body weight and mass behind those strikes. And you don't always see that, but if you look at it really closely, there's a lot of energy moving with it. Okay? Next move. The Tokamini pattern that we talked about. Ball strikes going essentially into the box. As you turn about, hand switch. One, two, and then do the pattern again. For some people, there's a lot of trouble getting that hand switch right, so we'll take a look at that. One, two, three, four, thrust. Hand switch, and you're doing this as part of a flow. Okay, get like that. Okay, next move is 
underneath and up. And this could be any type of a disarm technique. It could also be a strike down below. Say he uh, comes at me with an attack. Any kind of attack. Down, disarm. Hit me on the head. Disarm. Okay? Hit me on the head. Down underneath. Okay? Oh, my take down. A lot of things you can do with that. But the move is like you're throwing a shovel of snow over your shoulder. And that's the kind of feel it has to have. So you have the full leverage of your body. And notice how I'm using a fulcrum concept here with my left hand as I throw and deliver that energy. Okay, next. Three pokes. Okay, so you're here. One, two, three. Now, in some schools, it teaches that somebody grabs your bow and you're pulled away. Some teach it as a second or continuation strike and knocking that person down. However you want to think of it, it's fine. Let's need a camera over there if you will take an angular shot of this. The next sequence is a little bit tricky. One, two, three, four, and then you're back into the pen. Okay, we'll take another look at that. First move, second move, one, two, three, and up. Back into the pad. Now, when you get good at it, you do it like this. One, two, and then you're airborne. Okay? That makes it clean. What, uh, how much time does have we been shooting? 6.53. Okay, so we still have time. So next move is a clear. He comes at me. Swing that way. I clear. Now watch. Over the top. Step back a few. I just cleared. Over the top. Okay, he goes back. Okay, bye. Over the top. And I follow up with it here. He goes forward and roll it. And I hit. He's still there. His partner comes at him. Come out of yourself. Stay right there. You're the first person. Come out of yourself. I hit and I wait and I go all the way across to the other attack. Okay? So I'm here and I'm ready. And then you're still ready here. Clear. And all around. Finish off. And covering both guys and the, this man again. And ready. Clear through him to his partner in the four corner. Clear back. Around. You, sort of, you can sort of visualize that using your imagination. We don't have time to give you full detail of that. But just use your imagination to see what's happening. So we're here. Hit. Here. Hit. 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 And in the final clear, whatever attack he wants to do, I cover. So it's just towards like that. This is a powerful block here. See the hip? Rewind it, sets, you can hit. That leaves the place where you step back. And clear. Okay? There you have it. Now we could talk about this for months on end. I wanted to, to give you a sense of what's in my head as I do it. Every time I do the form, I see a different type of fight, a different type of situation, different types of responses. So it varies slightly from performance to performance. Now we're not trying to do show performance here. We're just trying to share with you how we look at some of these things. Thanks for visiting, and we'll see you down the road.